students run from a primary school in Malawi's second biggest city, Blantyre. They abandoned their classes after a rumour that vampires had come to the school. Rumours that vampires are living in Malawi and preying on its people began around a month ago. Now mobs are on a modern-day witch hunt to find them. This is the most recent victim of the vigilantes, a 22-year-old man with epilepsy, stoned to death. At a small cemetery in the rural district of Malanje, residents gathered to remember two other victims, mother and son Christy and John Paul Namate. My granddaughter was with her son who was carrying a bag. It had so many pockets and he was also carrying an inflatable mattress. When the angry villagers saw that and the drinking bottle he was holding, they thought he was a vampire. They started beating him and killed them both. In total, eight people suspected of being vampires have been murdered since September 16th. Many more Malawians as well as foreigners have been injured. The UN has pulled out its staff from several districts, while the US and UK embassies have imposed travel bans on their staff and issued warnings to tourists. Police have enforced a curfew in southern Malawi after villagers formed vigilante night patrols to root out so-called vampires. This is a sad development because we're living in constant fear. Our movements are regulated. We cannot walk in the night because even those that have been asked to patrol the villages are beating anyone they meet. Belief in witchcraft is widespread in Malawi. Vampire-driven violence also erupted in 2002. People feel like allegations to do with witchcraft uh, and magic um, should not be disputed, should be taken as true. And uh, with the already belief that is there in witchcraft, the fear that is there in witchcraft, this room has just found that um, fatal ground to thrive. President Peter Mutarika has sent in the Malawi Defence Force to reassure villagers and has asked vampire hunters in places like Mulanje to take suspects to the police instead of killing them. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.